With a touch of heat, she melts, mixes, and swirls pastel colors into chocolate art. Have you always been a big chocolate lover? No, <laughs> not at all, not at all. And Samantha Richard hasn't always been a chocolatier either, but a car accident in September forced Samantha to take a break from her regular career as an actress and a yoga teacher. I have damage to my spine, so I was getting a little stir crazy sitting around and healing. And so I started making these chocolate lollipops and my mom said, you should sell those. What kind of chocolate pops are you making for Valentine's Day? Um, we have a great selection. We've got our corset on the outside, as you can those see. Those are cute. She gets most of her chocolate from a company on the mainland and calls her creations Samantha's Choco Pops. This season, she's also mastered heart lollipops and roses. And these red roses have a pretty significant meaning. Ready? Cystic fibrosis is fatal. There's no way around that. We had a friend named Ava Marquardt who had CF and she battled it her whole life and she passed away in 2010 and um, just a big part of her legacy was you know raising awareness about CF and organ donation, she had a double lung transplant and there's a movie about her, there's a documentary called 65 Red Roses and um, and so that's where we got the idea to do Red Roses at Valentine's Day. To play a part in their friend's legacy, Samantha and her boyfriend Hamish are donating 10% of their proceeds from their Valentine's Choco Pops to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. But this is not their first time donating to charity. The couple gave 10% of their Christmas Choco Pop sales to the BC Children's Hospital. It always feels nice to give back and so we thought we'd continue and we're just going to choose a different charity every season and, and keep it going because I think that's nice and it's important. Okay, it's time to make some Choco Pops. We're going to make some roses, some okay. red roses for Valentine's Day because I can't make them fast enough so you're going to, I'm putting you to work. So Samantha prepped a piping bag with melted chocolate and showed me how to fill in the molds. So you're going to do the first rose, right? Yes. Okay, how do we first do this? First one. See, simple dimple. Just make sure it's all even. And then give it a peek. Make sure the air bubbles are out. See, that's an air bubble. We don't like that guy. Okay, time to see what a Gen Choco Pop looks like. You're hired. Am I? Yep. I think I'm going outside the lines here. So the roses turned out okay, but I think I'd be more comfortable with an easier shape. Give your chocolate a little stir. So Samantha put me on heart duty. I'm definitely getting a little bit on the side here. It happens. Those are the ones that you give to yourself. And time for the best part, eating the leftover chocolate. Mm. Samantha's already been booked for several weddings, birthdays, baby showers, and other parties. Not to mention, she still has all of her online orders to keep up with. It's a lot to handle, especially when she's only able to do about two hours of work a day with her injuries. I have to get better. Physically, I need to get better, so I'm going to keep on going at this pace if I can. If Chocolate Pops needs to slow down, it, it will, um, but I'd love to see it keep growing. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz.